Health Canada is spending another 1.5 million taxpayer dollars to re-air anti-drug advertisements before October's federal election. Conservative Health Minister Rona Ambrose says the ads are meant to raise awareness about the harmful effects of cannabis on developing brains and the dangers of prescription drug abuse. In a statement, she said our government will continue to raise awareness about the harmful effects of drug abuse and encourage youth to choose a drug-free lifestyle. Despite the Conservative government's claim to be educating children, the ads are clearly biased, unscientific, and meant to frighten viewers who don't know anything about cannabis. For example, experts question the ads' claims about weed's effects on users, like how the plant lowers IQ. This point, stated as a fact in the ad, comes from a small 2012 study of 38 people, but a newer, more comprehensive study of 2,612 people found no evidence for this claim. Despite this, Health Canada felt the need to publicize the results of this smaller study because it fit their anti-pot, anti-liberal narrative. What's more, the anti-cannabis ad was specifically chosen because the information elicited fear in focus groups. A report commissioned by Health Canada said parents who saw the ads were surprised and scared. Naturally, the Conservative government got the viewer response they wanted and included the false information in the final ad. The politicized nature of the anti-cannabis ad is so obvious that the Canadian Medical Association, the College of Family Physicians of Canada, and the Royal College of Physicians and Surgeons of Canada all refused to endorse the campaign when it ran the first time. Earlier this year, Health Canada spent about 7.5 million public dollars airing the anti-cannabis ads alongside a Conservative Party ad campaign that targeted Liberal leader Justin Trudeau for promising to legalize cannabis. With the election only months away, the Conservatives continue to attack Trudeau and the Liberals for their stance on cannabis reform. Health Canada's anti-drug ads started re-airing this week and will run until August 8th, just in time for the election cycle, a period where the government can't waste public money on political ads.